Imagine a serene day on the water, rod in hand when, suddenly your peaceful fishing trip turns into a heart-stopping encounter with the unseen. Picture this, an ordinary day. A solitary angler, let's call him Mike, sets out in the early dawn, the air crisp and cool. His boat gently dips and sways with the rhythm of the lake. It's a day like any other, the kind of day you'd expect nothing more than a tug on your line and the thrill of a good catch. But this day was different. As Mike cast his line into the depths he felt something strange, a tug, stronger than any fish he'd ever hooked, it yanked and pulled, threatening to drag him into the icy depths. Mike, an experienced angler, thought he'd snagged a log or maybe a big sturgeon, but this was different, it was violent, unyielding. The line went slack, then taut, then slack again. It was as if something was toying with him. The rod vibrated with an eerie energy, a low hum that resonated through his bones, Mike's heart pounded in his chest, a primal fear creeping up his spine. Something was wrong, very wrong. Suddenly the water erupted in a geyser of froth and spray. Mike was thrown off balance, tumbling into the cold water. He fought to surface, choking on water in terror, the taste of fear crisp and bitter on his tongue. Beneath him something moved, something huge. It brushed against his leg, a fleeting contact that sent icy tendrils of dread curling around his heart. It was there, lurking just beneath the surface, unseen, unknown, a terror from the deep. Mike scrambled back onto the boat, his heart pounding a frenzied beat. He cut the line, leaving whatever lurked below to its watery domain. Mike survived, but his love for fishing, that innocent joy, was forever tainted by the memory of the unseen terror beneath. Our fishermen survived to tell the tale, but the memory of that unseen terror beneath has forever tainted his love for fishing. Fishing can be a solitary activity, but what happens when you're not as alone as you think? Picture this, a lone fisherman, out on a quiet lake, under the vast, starlit sky. The only sounds are the gentle lapping of water against the hull of his boat and the distant hoot of an owl. Our fisherman was a seasoned veteran of the waters, but nothing could have prepared him for what he was about to experience. He was enjoying the silence when he noticed a chill creeping into the air. A fog began to roll in, thick and eerie, swallowing the moonlight and casting an otherworldly glow over the lake. He felt a shiver ripple down his spine as he peered into the gloom, trying to decipher what was hidden in the mist. Suddenly, out of the murk, a figure emerged. A figure draped in old, tattered fishing gear, clutching a rusty lantern that swung back and forth, casting long, spectral shadows. Our fisherman squinted, trying to make sense of what he was seeing. A ghostly fisherman? Was he seeing things? His heart pounded in his chest as the figure silently glided closer. The ghostly figure didn't interact with the man, didn't acknowledge his presence. It simply continued its silent vigil, casting a spectral line into the depths of the lake. Our fisherman watched, frozen in place, as the ghastly scene played out before him. It felt as though he was trapped in a chilling tableau, a spectator to a ghostly ritual that had perhaps played out countless times before. As the first light of dawn began to pierce the fog, the spectral figure started to fade. It cast one last look over the lake before vanishing into thin air, its spectral line left hanging in the air. Our fishermen sat there, stunned, as the sun began to rise and the world returned to normal. As the sun rose, the ghostly figure disappeared, leaving our fishermen with a chilling story that would keep him out of the water at night. A favorite fishing spot can turn from familiar to frightening when haunted by a tragic past. Our tale today revolves around a group of close-knit friends and their beloved fishing spot. It was a serene place, nestled between dense woods, a place where they had shared laughter and tales over the years. But as they would soon discover, not all tales are meant to be unearthed. On one particularly crisp autumn morning, the group decided to embark on their usual fishing trip. As the day unfolded, however, they began to notice peculiar happenings. The once soothing whistle of the wind now seemed to carry faint ghastly whispers. The placid water rippled as if disturbed, although there was no fish to be seen. An eerie feeling of being watched lingered, unsettling the group. Initially they brushed it off as their imagination playing tricks on them. But as the strange occurrences continued, an uneasy feeling began to creep in. It felt as though the lake itself was trying to communicate, to tell a tale that had long been submerged beneath its calm surface. Driven by curiosity and a dash of fear, they decided to dig into the history of their favorite spot. The chilling truth they uncovered was a tragic tale from years gone by. The lake was the site of a horrific accident, 
where a family had lost their lives in a boating mishap. The date of the accident was the same as their fishing trip, and it seemed as if the spirits were restless, stirring the air with an eerie energy. The realization hit them like a cold wave, turning their cherished spot into a haunting reminder of the tragedy. The whispers of the wind, the ripples in the water, the feeling of being watched, it all made an unnerving sense now. They were not alone at the lake, they were in the company of its tragic past. The friends left the lake that day with more than just their catch. They took with them a haunting memory that would forever change their favorite fishing spot. It's not only the creatures in the water that can turn a fishing trip into a horror story. This rings true for our final tale, a chilling account of a fisherman stalked by an unknown entity in the wilderness. Our story begins on a serene morning, with our fisherman setting out for his favorite fishing spot, a secluded area surrounded by dense forest. Everything seems normal at first, the chirping of birds, the gentle rustling of leaves, the tranquil flow of the river. But as the day wears on, he begins to feel a creeping sense of unease, the feeling of being watched. He tries to shake it off, attributing it to the isolation and the eerie silence of the wilderness, but the feeling persists, growing stronger with each passing hour. The forest, once a place of peace and solitude, now feels threatening, its shadows seeming to hide something sinister. Our fisherman decides to pack up his gear, the joy of fishing forgotten in the face of this growing terror. But as he does so, he hears a rustling in the bushes behind him, he turns around, his heart pounding in his chest but there's nothing there. Just the wind, he tells himself, but he can't shake off the feeling of eyes on him. His walk back to the car is a nightmare. Every whisper of the wind, every snap of a twig, sends him into a state of panic. He can't shake the feeling that he's not alone, that something is following him, stalking him. The once familiar path now feels like a labyrinth, every turn a potential trap. Finally, he reaches his car, his sanctuary. As he drives away, he glances in the rearview mirror and for a split second he sees it, a shadowy figure standing at the edge of the forest watching him. Safe at last, our fisherman learned a chilling lesson. The true predators aren't always in the water. Fishing, a peaceful pastime turned nightmare, a reminder that horror can strike when we least expect it. Imagine you're out on the water, the sun is setting and you feel a tug on your line. It's the unseen terror beneath. A creature so monstrous it's like nothing you've ever seen. It's not just the size that the sheer power of this aquatic beast. Beast. It's a stark reminder that in the vast depths below, we are not always the apex predator. Then there's the ghostly fisherman. A spectral figure endlessly casting his line into the ether, doomed to an eternity of haunting the waters where he met his untimely demise. His tale is a chilling reminder that not all horrors are of the flesh and blood variety, Sometimes the most terrifying things are those we cannot explain. And who could forget the haunted lake? Its still dark waters hide a dreadful secret. A place where the very environment seems to conspire against those who dare to fish its depths. The eerie silence, the inexplicable chill, the sense of a malevolent presence watching from the depths, it's enough to make even the most seasoned angler's blood run cold. Finally, we have the stalker in the shadows. A story that reminds us that the most dangerous threats can sometimes come from our own kind. A figure lurking in the shadows, watching, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. It's a tale that shows us that the wilderness is not just a playground but also a hunting ground for those with sinister intentions. These are not just stories, my friends, these are true accounts of horror and terror that have befallen unsuspecting fishermen. They serve as a chilling reminder that danger can lurk anywhere, even in the most serene of settings. Remember these tales the next time you cast your line, for you never know what horror may be lurking beneath the surface or in the shadows.